Nana Kappa has the potential to be a real jewel in the Channel Island chain. We have one limiting factor, it's the presence of rats. Rats can just rip through these seabird colonies and just cause huge declines in numbers of seabirds. And the seabirds have no place else to go to breed. The Xanthus merlet is an animal that's critically endangered. We had to take drastic steps to bring this animal back so that the future generations can see them and appreciate them. Anacapa Island, one of the Channel Islands just 12 miles off the coast of Southern California. The word Anacapa comes from the Chumash Indian tribe, meaning mirage. Perhaps this refers to Anacapa's considerable flora and fauna, which are not readily apparent until you walk on the island's landscape. Comprised of three islets, known as East, Middle and West, Anacapa's steep cliffs, vegetated terrain and protected beaches provide safe haven to a variety of marine mammals and seabirds. Anacapa hosts the largest breeding colony in the United States of the endangered California brown pelican. The island also supports western gulls, cormorants and several species of raptors. Anacapa is managed by the National Park Service and lies within a designated marine sanctuary. Channel Islands National Park was set aside to protect those unique natural resources, species that occur nowhere else in the world besides on the Channel Islands. You go out to Anacapa Island and you're really in a world apart um, where you see um, seabirds and marine mammals and just a, a wilderness experience that you can't find here on the mainland any longer. So we're trying to protect that for future generations. Protecting the Channel Islands includes keeping the breeding areas free of ground-based predators commonly found on the mainland. Over the last few decades, researchers have noticed a decline in the population of some species of seabirds. One of the primary reasons, predation by the non-native black rat. Eileen Creel has been monitoring rat activity on Anacapa for the last year. This is a metal band that the Park Service uses, and they put them on all chicks in their grid. And this was found outside of the rat burrow. So more than likely the rat um, killed the chick and brought back pieces of the chick, including um, the leg that had this metal band on it, to its burrow. Rats are very enterprising in their search for food, eating anything they can to stay alive, from seabird eggs and mollusks during the spring and summer to the roots of perennial grasses during the lean winter months. In this infrared footage, a rat is seen attacking decoy eggs placed in a nesting site on Anacapa's middle island. The decoys are similar in size and appearance to native seabird eggs. This is the black rat or the ship rat. We caught him in a, in a building here on the island, which is an unusual place because there's no food in these buildings. After feeding on a summer of seabirds and eggs, he's uh, now looking, looking for more food. There's no more seabirds on the island, so now he's looking far and wide for some of the food that he's used to. Grams minus One seabird the rat preys on is the Xanthus merlet, a rare nocturnal seabird that breeds in the Channel Islands. Estimates indicate that there are between 1,000 to 3,000 breeding pairs of Xanthus merlets remaining in the United States, with several hundred of them nesting in the cliffs and caves of Anacapa. Bird. It's a little brood hatch. It is presently being considered for endangered species status. 
Harry Carter, Daryl Whitworth and their team have been researching Xantooth merlets in the Channel Islands for several years. Well, this is an egg that's been eaten by a rat that we found in one of the sea caves at Anacapa Island. You can see the serrated edge with big, big bite marks where the rats come along and chomped it. If there had been a, a half-developed embryo or something, there'd be blood on the inside of the egg. But this one was really fresh, and the rat got it right after it was laid. So, And so we know that the merlets are here. We just need to get them nesting to their potential here, which they're not. You know, They might try to nest here, and that's what I think all these birds at nighttime indicate. Is there are birds here trying to nest. They just they can't do it because of the rats. Given this threat to Xanthus merlets and other seabird populations, such as the ashy storm petrel, another rare nocturnal seabird that is being considered for endangered status, the Park Service started investigating the possibility of eradicating the rats from Anacapa. Right now, there's only a couple hundred nesting Xanthus merlets on Anacapa Island. There probably should be at least 3,000, maybe more, which would more than double the population that's currently existing in the United States. So it's an action that we can take. It's an action that's going to have long-term and positive conservation benefits for Anacapa Island and the entire marine ecosystem. After extensive deliberation, several government agencies combined forces to rid Anacapa of the black rat. Using restoration settlement funds from the 1990 American Trader oil spill in Huntington Beach, the largest oil spill in Southern California in the last few decades. Well, a large number of seabirds were impacted by the American Trader oil spill. Uh, the trustees estimate that over 3,000 uh, birds were killed and approximately over 9,000 chicks were not born as a result of the spill. Birds that were injured by the American Trader oil spill were the Xanthus merlet, the ashy storm petrel, brown pelicans, and uh, western grebes. The directive of the American Trader Trustee Council that manages the settlement funds was to restore habitat of the seabird populations impacted by the oil spill. I guess first we decided, we being the trustees, that manage those resources, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, NOAA, and California Department of Fish and Game, that we would look at um, seabird habitat for those species that might have been in the Huntington Beach area. Perfect. And the Park Service had a wonderful opportunity here on Anacapa Island where Xanthus merlets do breed, but where Xanthus merlets are compromised by the presence of this non-native species, this black rat, on Anacapa Island. They had the funding where they could do something good for restoration of seabirds, and they were looking for well-thought-out projects. They also funded a lot of the ecological monitoring that would really help us understand what are the impacts of rats on islands and what are the benefits from eradicating rats. Seabirds can only nest on islands. And that's why seabirds are on islands. And so if we can remove the rats, we can essentially bring back a, a resource that's been there for tens of thousands of years and, and, and make it whole again and allow the seabirds to once again use that site successfully. The invasion of non-native rats is not unique to Anacapa. Rats are found on roughly 80% of the world's islands from the sub-Antarctic to the northern waters of Canada. Here at Kiska Island in Alaska, researchers have found adult arklets with their brain cases missing, consumed by rats as they incubate their eggs because their arklets will not abandon their young. In New Zealand, rats have been implicated in the decreasing numbers of several species of island nesting birds. In this infrared footage, researchers document a rat fighting with a kiwi to flush her from her nest so that it can eat her chick. Throughout the world, the invasion of non-native mammals, particularly on islands, has caused widespread destruction. In some cases, causing extinctions of both plants and animals.